Ruski Ed here with a geography lesson pertaining to recent events in Crimea and Ukraine. More on that after the intro song. Be sure to check out the list of locations to be covered in this lesson as the song plays. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian you would like to know, then Ruski Ed is the place to go. Okay, so everybody has heard that the people of Crimea voted to join Russia and that Russia accepted the Crimean Peninsula or Krimsky Palu Ostrov as part of Russia. There are still some countries that don't believe in democracy that don't recognize the reality of the situation. But eventually they'll most likely catch up with recent events. However, rather than getting into the politics of the situation, let's take a look at the geography of the region surrounding Crimea or Krim in Russian. First of all, it is apparent from this map that the coast of Crimea touches the Black Sea or Chernaya Moria. The other body of water to the east of Crimea is called the Sea of Azov or Azovkaya Moria. To the north is Ukraine or Ukrania, and two other neighbors include Georgia or Gruzia and Abkhazia or Abkhazia. Incidentally, the city of Sochi is located just north of Abkhazia for your information. Two cities in Crimea that have been mentioned frequently in the news recently include Sevastopol and Simferopol. By the way, the territory generally referred to as Crimea is officially known as the Republic of Crimea or Respublika Krim. Having introduced the geographical locations to be discussed in this lesson, let's take a look at a couple sample sentences. Both Tepir Krim, Yavlayetsia, Chastu, Rasii, and Krim Tepir Chast Rasii mean Crimea is now part of Russia. The second sample sentence goes like this. Chernaya Moria Amovaya Neskolka Stran. And it means the Black Sea is surrounded by several countries. Technically, it should be pointed out for the sake of clarity that Amovaya means washed by and that Akrujat means to surround or to encircle. Incidentally, the number of countries that surround the Black Sea is a matter of some dispute. Whereas most of the world insists that only six countries surround the Black Sea, Russia and a few other countries realize that the correct number is seven. These countries include Abkhazia, Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, Russia, Turkey, and Ukraine, with the disputed country being Abkhazia. Moving along, we have a quick vocabulary review. Galasavania means vote or voting. Pachti means almost or nearly. Yedina Glasny means unanimous. Pazvolit means to allow, Ludi means people, and Rashats means to decide. The following sentences can be formed using these words. Galasovania, Bula, Pachti, Yadina, Glasnim means the vote was nearly unanimous. By the way, Galasovania, Bula, Pachti, Yadina, Dushnim also means the vote was nearly unanimous. Also we have Pazvoltie, Ludyam, Samim, Rashats, which means allow the people to decide for themselves. Alternate forms of this sentence include Daitya Ludyam Samim Rashats and Pust Ludi Sami Rashayut. The end of this lesson has been reached, and so it is time for Ruski Ed to sign up. Das Vidanya!